Titan is one of the leading manufacturers of heavy and special purpose vehicles, established in Germany. This company develops and manufactures transport vehicles for both civilian and military sectors, with a particular focus on trucks designed for heavy-duty tasks within and outside of oil fields and deserts. For several years, they have built and distributed a line of unique-looking and uniquely designed heavy trucks that have conquered deserts in many countries around the world. Known as Titan Z, they rely on the reliability of Mercedes-Benz units, as many of their components come from this brand, such as the OM engines with up to 609 horsepower and over 2,400 newton meters of torque. Their robust and highly capable chassis contrasts with their comfortable and spacious cabin, which originally belongs to a Mercedes-Benz Actros model. This chassis is reinforced at the rear and front to allow for pulling or pushing loads without compromising the structure, and its dimensions reach 9 meters in length, 4 meters in width, and 3.1 meters in height. These qualities enable them to operate while pulling more than 500 tons under the harsh desert conditions, with temperatures reaching up to 55 degrees Celsius. They are primarily used for the movement of heavy machinery, as well as superstructures and platforms used for oil extraction, but they can also be adapted for use as fracking trucks. Float planes are renowned for their unique ability to take off and land on water surfaces. However, this very quality hinders their full mobility on land. Due to this limitation, some companies dedicated to providing services with these aircraft have developed a system to deploy and recover them from land. Known as float trucks, they emerged out of the necessity to have a simple, cost-effective and easily maintainable equipment to deploy, recover and park float planes on land. They consist of regular vehicles, mainly pickups, which undergo significant modifications to install hydraulic loading rails at the front. Essentially, the pickups are cut in half to achieve greater maneuverability although this requires the modified units to be all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive. To carry out their task, the float plane accesses the land through a ramp and positions itself partially outside the water. Once in position, the float truck aligns perfectly to dock the float plane without any collisions, as the hydraulic lift is made of steel and the floats are made of aluminum, which could cause significant damage. Once docked, using a hydraulic motor, the loading rails are elevated by 15 centimeters, allowing the float plane to move without hitting anything. Established in the United Kingdom, the Silso Research Institute was renowned for its significant achievements in agricultural machinery development, dating back to the 1920s. One of its most notable pieces of equipment was the Single Wheel Tester, conceived in 1969, which aimed at studying, analyzing, and conducting tests on tires for the agricultural sector. Based on a County 1164 tractor, it features a specialized cabin and an office-like space at the rear, 
where parameters obtained during tests are monitored. Force transducers are used to convert tire pressure into electrical readings, and weights were employed to test the effects of different loads. The single-wheel tester played a pivotal role in the development of radial tires for agricultural machinery, particularly in studying the effects of tire pressure on soil. Additionally, a separate testing platform was adapted to evaluate the same parameters for rubber tracks. Unfortunately, this machine was the only one developed, and it is believed to have been last used for real tests in the 1980s. After the closure of Silso in 2006, this equipment, along with many others, was sold, and it is currently up for auction by its original buyer. However, modern and updated equipment now continues the conduction of these tests. The K700 is one of the most iconic heavy-duty tractors in Russia. Currently produced by the Kirovec company, it became a symbol in the agricultural sector of the Asian region from its beginnings, thanks to its outstanding qualities that made it an indispensable tool for heavy work in extreme climates. Due to its popularity, especially for its sturdy and highly resistant structure, the K700 became one of the most sought-after trucks for refurbishment. This process involves integrating more powerful next-generation engines from brands like Volvo or DAF, which increased the original power of the K700 by over 100 horsepower. As a result, the cabins of these trucks need to be adapted to seamlessly incorporate the new engines. It's worth noting that cabins from English versions are used to avoid affecting the original steering mechanism and to improve the driver's position and visibility. Additionally, since the K700 originally has a hood design, the frame requires cutting at the front to ensure the proper fit of the new cabin. While the appearance of these trucks may make them seem suitable for jobs in oil fields, their primary use lies in heavy agricultural tasks such as plowing, tilling, and sowing in genuinely challenging weather and terrain conditions. They are even utilized in areas where access for modern agricultural tractors becomes complicated. Agrimaster is a Russian company dedicated to the development and manufacturing of heavy-duty agricultural implements. Among its creations, the Autotrack U260 stands out as an agricultural tool carrier truck, offering exceptional performance and versatility for various tasks both within and outside the farmland. This unit is based on a Kamaz truck, but underwent significant modifications to ensure the necessary power and traction for its activities. One of these changes includes the implementation of the rear axle and wheels from a Kirovets K700 unit, enabling it to generate a traction force of 40 kN. With its 260 horsepower engine, working in conjunction with its robust traction, the Autotrack U260 can operate in transport tasks, pulling loads of up to 20 tons. Additionally, it features a side tipper at the rear, capable of carrying up to 7.5 tons, which greatly aids in seeding tasks. Its usage extends beyond transportation, as it can also be coupled with plows, stubble cultivators, and seeding systems. With dimensions of approximately 6.6 .6 meters in length, 2.5 meters in width, and around 3 meters in height, it allows for working widths of almost 7.5 meters, depending on the implement used. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it and found it valuable. 
Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. We can't wait to see you in the next one.